What's up, all? Uh, this is a mellow itinerant slash Todd. I'm here to do a, it's been a while. I've got a, to say where I've been, I've got a big project I'm working on. Well, not only do I, so Geekway to the West is, which I'm one of the owners is coming up in about a week. Uh, actually, a week from today, I'll be there setting up. Um, it'll be Wednesday. Wow, crazy. Um, and so working on the final details of that. In fact, my phone's buzzing because there's a lot of chatting going on about that and work happening. Um, and I'm also working on a couple, another big project. Um, it's frankly taking a lot of, uh, of my normal free time. So it's a lot of free physical time, you know, like actual time and just mental time. So when I'm done working on it, I am blasted. So I've been kind of off the grid a little bit. Um, so uh, anyway, that's that. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to try to get a little, I did a couple things on the project and then I thought, you know what, let's try to build one of these buildings that I got recently. Um, one of these EWAR um, plastic craft games. There's like four different names. I think they can't figure out what to name it because they got the EW, so I guess early war building set, E war. So E-War, I guess that's what that is. I finally figured that out. Plastcraft Games, Color Ed, Assembly and Play. Anyway, they also are known, they do a lot of Malifaux and have some um, Asian stuff and what's the other game? There's a couple, um, oh, Drop Zone Commander. Anyway, they're PVC buildings. And so let's see if I can try to see what I can make progress in about 30 minutes. I don't know if I'll get done. But anyway, this, you can buy all these individually. That's what these numbers are. So you can buy these individually or you can buy the set. I got it from Miniature Market. Come in a box. There's more stacked over there you can't see. Um, it's an interesting material. So you can use super glue, which I think mine are dried out, but we'll see. Got my knife. Here, I'm going to start with the grocery. So you get to watch the entire thing. So now I'm going to get off the... Um, I'm not going to be looking at the chat, so I apologize. Um, maybe I'll see if I can pull the chat up on my phone here. Really wobbly. Oh, Red Sox fan. Hey, man. So, yeah, this is a, like I said, a PVC sort of, con, not con, what am I thinking? Anyway, in my mind, like I said, so this is the floor, I believe, for the grocery kind of see is a gray kind of odd I don't know, it's kind of like compressed I guess just PVC just cut out of PVC and this will be interesting to see how this works so I guess like I'll go like that so if I stay within the realm of this glass top here I should be able to, you should be able to see me. So I'm going to have to change my screen over to go look at the um, instructions. So first thing with any model, make sure you got all the pieces. So I got that. Now they make the floor look different than that. That's interesting. What's funny is I got all these numbers on these. The instructions aren't in the box. It's funny. It's like, really? Not in the box. So one of these here... I don't know if they're different sizes. Looks like it. It's the same shape. Let's see if I can move this over here. Um, really should invite some other people in here so they could chat while I'm because I'm going to be some, have some silent moments. I can see it already. So kind of laying it out as they have it laid out. Let's see what else. So I don't think this piece, oh, it might be, no. I got that one, it's the front. F 
front sign. Uh, yeah, so Al Red Sox fan. Oh, hey, look, here's that floor. And it is the same. Oh, no, it's actually bigger. Okay, I found that. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably, I'll use it for bolt action, chain of command. Um, I did just receive these in the mail. This is the Battle Group Overlord Beyond the Beaches uh, supplement for Battle Group. I was not expecting this. I, I, their rules, I don't have it down here with me, are like, like, you know, this big. This is a full on page book here. It's, uh, like, I don't know how much it costs $14 or something for that. And it's pretty good. And then this one. It was only like 12 or 13 for crying out loud. So crazy. I got those. So anyway, so 15 mil for bolt action. Maybe 172nd at some point, but I don't know. Bolt action, chain of command, or... Um, oh, what's the other one I'm thinking? Oh, battle group. I just said that. Man, I am out of it. Okay, so I got the bottom... Up the roof. And they're not numbered at all. It's, this is just awesome. So that's six and seven that way. Sorry, it's going to be upside down for you guys. Uh -huh. So what is the front? No, oh, that part there. Oh, what's the, what are the sides? Oh, they don't have the sides. So is it this green that matches that? Probably. Okay. So I make these little pieces punch out of there. Um, so I'll do that first. I guess I could keep them closed. But. Why do that? Now, I'm always looking for ways to do buildings quicker. I guess cheaper, probably cheaper, a little cheaper than like uh, total terrain battle or something like that that makes them. I mean, there's some people that do some really cool work, um, but they're expensive. Uh, not that they shouldn't be. I'm not saying it's not a good fair price, it's just more than what I. I'm willing to spend or ready to spend on it. So I think I have all the pieces. I don't know why some are labeled. Oh, I see. Okay. So they come with... The first step is that. And then they show you going like this. So flipping it over. So I know I have all the pieces, so I can kind of move these to the side for a second. So I can't see the chat, so Al, if you want to ask me something, feel free. I'll check it. I got it going right here next to me, so it's not too much of a... You can see it. Now, one thing I noticed um, when I ordered, before I even ordered these, you'll be able to see like the ends uh, of the, not that one, but you'll see it when we're done. They'll have to be painted uh, just for a touch up. And they could be a little glossy, so I might try dull coating one of them or something. Let's see. Of all people, I'm not that picky. Um, this is like the sign. That's probably going to go on the outside.
So what's interesting is they don't really tell you this, but you'll want to be careful not to glue that all the way to the bottom because, pardon my, pardon my head getting in the way, because Interesting. I don't really tell you that, but you want to be sure you don't glue it all the way to the bottom because this has got to sit in there. Okay, so you got to make room for that thickness there. Well, I'm not making that clear at all. How about like that? So you can't glue it all the way to the bottom like that. You'll be in trouble. So it goes like that. And then I have to cut out some windows. They provide these little plastic windows. All appear to be nines, which are probably these. So the building is a um, supposed to be a grocery store from like Europe. So maybe France, Belgium, something like that. And so you know, gen general European building. Show the picture here, and it's just a second now. These are tearing apart fairly easily. And you'll glue like that. Like that. Of course, you wouldn't have to put these in here. So I think it just kind of sets there like that. Okay, so there's that, that, and that. All right, let's give this a shot. See what happens. I think my... So my friend of mine, who does a lot more modeling than me, says to put the super glue in in a bag of rice. So there's a little bit of glue in here, but alas, it is not I don't know how many places to glue this, you know. Anyway, he says it keeps it from drying out, putting in a bag of rice. So I now have a bag of rice, knowing that these are probably already dried out. I can't imagine it takes much. Glue both sides for the window and for the thing. So glue for the window. Which is fascinating. I like the idea of using this liquid control glue though, which is the um, gel stuff. I see glue getting on my fingers here. 
some point. Seems inevitable. Ta da! So now, what I think I'll do looks like that glue is drying pretty, pretty, pretty fast here. Let me clean my surface. Looks like I got it spot on there for that. You know, I thought this would stay on. It looks like that dried out already. That's pretty crazy. And it also looks like it's pitting in. I wonder if that's just my eyes. I don't want to put a lot on these windows out on me because I can imagine it like kind of squirting out and being able to see that. Oh my gosh, there's like very little surface for you to stick these on. I mean, it's like right on the edge. I'm going to give you a lot of uh, leeway here. I'm going to glue. I did, I, did I say this? I saw some guys, I think, playing Alpha at uh, Miniature Market the other day during our um, punch and play for Geekway. So I took a look at it while they were playing. Looks pretty good. They hadn't painted the edges, but... Um, they worked, and they were able to get themselves some buildings. Who knows? They could have bought them right then. Bought super glue from Miniature Market and assembled them right there. They didn't. They brought them all to, with them. See, the cool thing is here I can see where the glue is grabbing it. I should probably use this as a test to make sure that the glue doesn't, like, eat the plastic or fog up the window. Because a lot of the models I use, they just have open holes anyway for windows. Not these actual little panes, which is kind of cool. But um, necessary. I'm putting the more matte side out. I find it uh, more appealing. Got a lot of extra glue on that one. Mm -hmm. Kind of crooked. Um. Anyway, so yeah, so these are the buildings for that. I also recently got, which required no assembly, which I love. Some of the battlefront fortifications or field defense works. So I got um, some some gun pits, some like that. Um, I like this. I like this gel, man. It is so nice. It doesn't run like this other stuff. I do have liquid control, but this gel control, please. All right, that's done. The refresher is what I'm building. I'm building this one. Just a set. You can buy them separately as well. Class craft games, color ed. Not just for not just for war games. Uh, okay, I need a small window here. This one.
on the instructions, there's just these black and white drawings, computer drawings. But like they do show this little part here, so you can recognize it from the other wall. So that's cool. I should kind of differentiate it. Another window. I'm excited about building some walls here. I have a few more window steps, which I guess makes sense. Can you hear me all right? I'm kind of mumbling here a little bit as I kind of bend down to glue. I, I, I buy these buildings because I'm not a real big fan of spending time on terrain. Um, I, I'm not really a huge modeler and builder. So anytime I can take time away from that and play, I would rather do that. Um, it's a part of the hobby, and it does feel good when you do it, when you succeed and you build something. And, you know, I've painted a bunch of buildings, especially for six. And it feels good, and when people, especially when people compliment you on your work, it's nice. Um, both live and, you know, via the web. So... It's it's very nice. Like I won't. People will like these buildings, but you're going to get a different kind of compliment, right? Because it's like, oh, those are cool. Where'd you get them? Versus, whoa, those are cool. Who painted those? I did. Wow, cool. You're awesome. You're the best person I've ever heard of in my life, or something like that. You know, it's just nice. It feels good. It's just like when you do work on your house or something, and you do a good job. It feels good. Well, same with this. I need to clean my surface. It is a little messy. Um, just like flock and stuff on here. Okay. Get, the, get in the way of good gluing. Um, Alright, so let's see what I do. What should I talk about? Oh, wait, these are like a different window here. Yeah, I'm going to put it on there anyway. Same size. Different looking though. Interesting. And what else? So, like I said, I got this project I'm working on. Can't really talk about it at the moment, but um, I will be glad when it's done. And my wife's traveling through Monday through, I think tomorrow she gets back. So, and the kids, we get the senior that's living here. He's an international student, so that's why I phrase it like I said, the senior, a senior living here. Um, he's got all of his crazy stuff going on just with prom and graduation and internship thing to kind of close out the year. So a lot of extra driving around for that and wife traveling and Equay and all kinds of stuff going on. So May has been, uh, as Anise Kavanaugh says, um, richly scheduled. And um, I never like to say, uh, I'll be glad when this month's done, just because, you know, you got to enjoy the moment, which is one reason I'm doing this. Um, just enjoying the, the time that we've got here, but um, I, won't, I won't be sad when May is done and we've survived it. All right. Okay, wanted to move it, but it wants to stay, so it's perfect. It's beautiful. And what else? Oh, a bunch more windows. Okay, how long have I been on here? Does that show me a timer on that? It doesn't. Oh, I got two viewers. Who else is watching here? You want to feel free to comment so we know who's watching. I'm glad to say hi to you. you any questions? Feedback, tips, ideas, whatever. Need five windows. That one punched. So uh, this is pretty cool. Um, I have 999 subscribers. That's pretty. It's a 
I don't usually pay much attention to them. I mean, it's nice to see the numbers, but because um, I'm not on regular enough and have a nice regular schedule enough to, and I don't monetize it, so it's all doesn't really make that much difference. But it does. It is nice that I know that that many people at some point have thought it was worth subscribing. I was at 999 a couple of days. I've been kind of watching because um, recently YouTube came out with their thing for monetizing. I think you have to have a thousand subscribers just to monetize. I think I haven't, like I said, I haven't been paying a lot of attention to it just because I don't do that. Ooh, way too much glue on this one. Okay. Just trying to get all cute there and that didn't work. So, um, Anyway, so that's kind of cool. I mean, it's pretty amazing. I should uh, I should give something away or do something. Um, that's when I wish I had uh, someone that would sponsor me so I could give some of their stuff away. But anyway, I should give some something away. Um, I mean, because you know, I know a lot of you like Al and Devin. Um, there's a few of you that watch, you know, pretty regularly when I come on, and especially these live ones that are, you know, you know let's face it, these are not like. Some of them are a little bit more action-packed, but this one, like this, is pretty quiet, more meditative. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Video. Um, it's pretty chill. So, so that's pretty cool. Was it 999 yesterday, I think, or two days ago? So I went to like, well, let's see if, some, if I'm up over a thousand and. I was at 998, so someone had dropped me. But then recently I saw I was at 999 again, so I'm like, okay, it's hovering, it's hovering. It would be... Um, I think it's cool that you can make money doing it if you're really out there creating good, consistent content. Um, Make money doing it, man. More power to you. I'm not saying I wouldn't like to make money doing it, but I'm not trying. I'm not doing the things it takes to do that, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think that glue's out. Need a couple more for the. Ah, not going to happen. Let's see if this stuff's any good. Hurry up, man. Hurry. Uh oh. Oh, let's see what happens here. So, you know, this is the wet stuff. Well, it's not, it's not doing what I thought it would do. Uh, window. Um, what else? What else? What else? So last weekend was cool. There's a bunch of guys. Uh, so there's a podcast out there um, called Advance After Combat. And... Um, I'll just tell you right now, um, if you're, if, if Wargaming is um, super, let's see, how do I say this? I'm not sure how to say it. Anyway, uh, it's an irreverent group of guys. They like two things. They like Wargaming, board. It's really focused on board Wargaming. Uh, board Wargaming and drink, and the, the occasional drink. Um, then that is for you. They are casual. I, I, I've always liked their vibe. And they're a variety of games. Like they switch around on, they do different stuff. I love ones that focus on one game. But you know what? As much as I want to focus on one game, I like to try several. So they do that. And that's cool. And they have built themselves up a nice following on the via the podcasts and other sources and other places that... Um, I don't know if I'm, I'm not envious because, again, they 
different niche, but I have a business podcast and I don't have anything like they do. Um, and it's I, like, okay, that's pretty awesome. Their personalities are, you know, they're just kind of casual, fun loving gaming dudes. I like to have a nice drink occasionally. And anyway, they built themselves a nice following. The point is, they um, have a convention that they've done. I think there's going to be their third one next year or this year. I don't know. Second or third one. It's a big one. It takes place in Dallas, I think. And um, they put one of the guys. Not one of the regular of the founders, but a regular um, created one called um, Donkey Con. You know, it was for larger games, and it was here in St. Louis because uh, he's based in St. Louis. So you know, you put it where you live. Um. Yeah, well, this is interesting. Um, so it has two floors. I'm sorry, reading the instructions. So anyway, so they had this convention, larger games. I was able to go Friday. It went Wednesday through Sunday. I was able to go Friday and Saturday, um, Friday night, Saturday to late to early evening. So like 24 hour type period. Um, I stayed at my house, but um, so it was great. I got to play some. I got to play four games, hung out with them. That was really awesome. Um, fun group of guys to get to meet. There's these guys who I've talked to, like um, Ty. Uh, so, um, more, uh, more games from the front. Uh, his channel, Kev Sharp, was there. I mean, it was awesome. So it says to glue this here. So here's an interesting thing. So it's got two stories, but you can't remove the second floor. I'm not even sure. Interesting. So that's going to be tight putting someone in that first floor. Anyway, you can't, um, you have to lift off the whole building, but you'll be able to. Okay, so I'm going to glue. So where am I going to glue this? That's the question. So as you can see here, look at that. See right there, the white? You're going to see that. So you need to paint it kind of that green, just another stone or that red or something. Again, you don't have to, just look complete. The fit is pretty good so far. These, I mean, that one is nice. Now the question is, is where do you glue it? And I'm gonna want to use that gel control, but we'll see. Let's see how this works. So I'm thinking top there, um, top and bottom. The dogs walk around upstairs looking for me like, dude, it's time for bed, because it is. It is time for bed. Oh. My dog ate trash this morning. She has not done that. Oh, I could glue all along that. See what happens. And here we go. And here we go. Okay, so I was just wondering, like, so which building side goes here? Kind of already put glue there, so I'm gonna put glue there and there. I should have fit these two pieces together before I did that. Learn lesson, just put it there. Line camera, mm, sort of, sort of, sort of not. And here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Interesting. Always dry fit. So I needed to put glue there. Oh man, that is not a good fit at all. Holy mackerel.
It's not needing sides. I don't know if you can tell. Oh man. There's a lot of places to glue here. I'm going to try using this, but I am going to change my plan here and use that other glue. Try that again. And, yep, see, not there. Oh my gosh. Oh, funny. So I need to glue there. All right, we'll drive fit the next one. That's what happens when you do it live on the air, man. No editing. Everyone gets to see your mistakes but if you're watching you'll learn learn from Todd okay so I'll glue that and yeah so it's interesting I mean there's no way they're gonna meet so I'm gonna have to make a choice my choice is gonna be that Sorry, out of screen, I gotta make sure it's straight, relatively speaking. Yeah, that, they're just not gonna meet there, there's just no way. So the lesson there is what? First of all, do I have the right side? Did get super good, my hand. Be warned. And I'm going to try to glue that. I can see the little green dots going when I'm trying to make it make it stick there. Cool thing is I can really see around where I can, where I'm. I'm not. Yeah, I get enough glue there. So now, I think what I'll do is I'll wait on that. I might squirt some gel in there. So there's, there we go. It's standing on its own. cool uh, I don't think uh, 15s are gonna fit in the bottom floor the cool thing is you do it like that and then when you if you want to if you want to you can have a ruined building and pull it off and they'll have ruined sides around it I love that I love buildings that do that all right I think I'm gonna call it there um, let's see what else do I have to do just glue in that other side and that back, and then the roof trellises. All right, well, let me, let me do all the side. Let me do the side so I'll have a full, complete building. But holy mackerel, man, that thing is, um, is way off over there on the sides. So is that side going next? It does, okay. Man, that's a huge gap there. And man, I'm getting some super glue on my fingers here near the end of the night. It's time to go to sleep. Yeah, that fits way better. There. All right, so. Let's 
So from here on out, I'll take Marshall's. Tip. I'll bring a new gel control. Al, you've ch wow, my thing wasn't updating, Al. Holy crap. Grocery store. Let's go shopping. Does it smell? No, it doesn't smell. Um, Al asks, when do you decide that you have enough buildings and start playing a game? Um, well, one, you... I like to build towards a scenario, so I like I need a certain number of buildings. I'm not I'm kind of doing that here. I'm I'm, I'm really uh, torn between East Front and I'm, I just, you saw I got it's getting some Market Garden books, so I'm kind of torn. Um, torn um, on. Um, Am I doing that? So for skirmish, so I like to build to a scenario. So I need five buildings. That's the that's the best way for me to do it. Otherwise, you can just yeah, you just buy buildings and you can, you can never have enough. It seems like, right? Um, but really, the thing to do is just start playing. Just come up with some scenarios and start playing. Build up to it. Thanks for that. Actually scheduled. Have to have a thousand and enough viewing minutes. Yep. Um, Devin and I—I uh, I know Devin would military uh, mili uh, war game with me again. It's just a matter of me reaching out to him and doing it. I, like I said, my schedule's been crazy, so um, I've not reached out to him to do that. And I haven't even. I know I was trying to learn a couple other systems too. You know, I'm like a little butterfly or a little yeah. You know, so I need a little here. Here, here, here. I can glue all that, that here, and on the bottom there. Okay. So again, here, here. Let's see if this makes any difference here. See, the cool thing is I can apply the vertical or horizontal. And this, I can just put little dabs. now um so you never I don't know can you ever have enough buildings especially if you're doing Arnhem or something which is essentially kind of like the Stalingrad of the West a Stalingrad of the West or a few or kind of like that okay so I gotta be really careful not to get this glue in my hands which I did this is like I said the most gluey I've ever got before Gluey, is that official? Um, so you kind of couldn't use a lot of buildings for like Arnhem, you know, Normandy, um, Normandy, uh, a little town and the British are landing into either, you know, Pegasus Bridge or any of those. So here, you want to kind of hold all the areas. Kind of why I wouldn't hurt to have a clamp or something. There we go. I'm going to call it good and just try to hold some sections together here. Is 
They do make clamps for this sort of thing. I have paper buildings that I've put together for six mil. These are easier than that. The hardest part about that that stuff is, man, getting these edges to stick together. There's no way for these to attach together. They're just flat surfaces. You don't build a building with just flat surfaces connecting together. It's not a good, uh, good, good, um, what do they call it? Good purchase. So this. This isn't going to stick here unless I really. I got to get that to try to stick there. That's crazy talk. I should go on the inside first of all. Might make it harder to fit something else in there later. And then I need to put this wall in there. Man, it says right in there. So there and there. question is how far do I spread this out? Tell you what, this last fit is amazing. It just boop, stopped right in there. See if I can do it like this. Yeah, I really need a. I'm gonna glue my finger to one of these buildings. If I'm not careful. I got glue popping away. I mean, I could ultimately decide I don't like the. Just messing with them, right? That they're not going to stay together quite as well as resin or MDF, which I've not done any MDF before, but they'd be like this. MDF's going to be just like this. Oh, I can see my fingerprints on the windows. It's hilarious. Wow. Bad, too. Holy cow. It's probably the um, chemical from the super glue. Pulling out my grease on my fingers or some chemical reaction or something. Boy, I am really mellow here. I apologize for that. Yeah. Yeah, bridge too far. Clamps would be awesome. I don't really have any tiny ones for stuff like this. Oh, bad dog. You're talking about the dog pulling out the food. There was a, you know how when you get raw beef, um, ground beef in those plastic packages or any container, and then on the bottom of it is that, like, 
foamy like paper towel like thing that kind of I guess it's don't really know what it's for to keep it moist or something anyway you just throw that away right well that's in the bottom of the trash can she pulled it out I mean we've had her for three years she's never done it so some got her she gets anxious you know she got anxious or something and she couldn't resist it she knew she was mess. she she known she'd done messed up when I came home she was all slinky and slouchy and all that and I barely had to say anything but we're gonna go with this for the glue right now. Feels a little wonky to me, but it's not too bad. I mean, let's see, look how easy it just sits on top there. And then put your guys in there. I'm sure the roof will come off. So the roof goes separate, okay. Yikes. Oh, the roof actually, oh. The roof actually goes inside like that. It's gonna be made so you can just go like lift it off and put your guys inside. I like that floor, that parquet floor is pretty cool. That the name is a parquet or is it parquet? I don't know. Anyway, there you go, guys. Hey, thanks, guys and gals. Thanks a lot for watching. Al, thanks for the company. Um, thanks for the other viewer that was on. You guys do awesome. And that was a plastic craft building, 15 millimeter grocery. Probably got I'm probably halfway done. Gotta put all the scaffolding and, and actually that does not belong to that. I no, that does not like That's number 64, so I'm not sure. That's probably loose in the box. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces on it. And it's not that one either. Interesting. The labeling on the components could be a little, a little bit more um, clear. It's not that. Oh, gosh, it's right here. So I got to put that stuff. So this, these are ruined walls. These will go on the bottom part. These are the, um, not rafters. Anyway, me speak, me not speak well, me not understand English. Okay. All right, there you go. That's that. Thanks all. We'll see you another time.